everybody for watching crypto revolution we talk about everything crypto almost daily jumping right into the market today in crypto bitcoin on the one hour chart we've seen the price action put again lower highs and lower lows with this variant here as a bullish breakout which became a bull trap so the price action you got this inverse head and shoulders previously we talked about broke higher and a move to the top of the pattern. You always have to assume that the price action remains in the pattern until it doesn't. So price action is at this resistance level. All the buyers were here previously. Now the sellers are here. Also, you have this descending trend line where the price action is facing a bunch of sellers. Uh, you've got to have a breakout of this falling wedge. I mean, there's a 68% chance that this breaks higher, but what happened a lot later and you see the downside move to 26,000 before another move higher. Remember, a downside break of this idea, you see 25,200 real quick. The Bitcoin two hour chart, you see Bitcoin's been stuck in this range, basically moving sideways. About, Bitcoin's about the same price it was 14 days ago. Now this is overhead resistance. The sellers are right here. We go back and you look at this double bottom right here. Right, you're still below this level. The Bitcoin bulls have their work cut out for them for a move higher. You've got obviously holiday weekend in the United States, probably a not, a, not a bunch of traders, so lower volume than we're used to seeing in the Bitcoin market. Now, if you notice, you've got the same falling wedge on the daily chart, right? So again, there's a 68% there's chance of a break higher, but really, if you look at this descending triangle here, are you just bearishly retesting this and you see another drive to the downside? There's definitely room for more downside really simple you've got all these sellers that are stacked right here previously buyers previously buyers previously buyers so you've got resistance here at 27.7 all right 27,700 and you've got a ton of sellers at 27,000 27,000 so the bulls have a lot of work to do in order to work higher so very careful trading bitcoin right now there's definitely some ideas, you know, you got this in the United States, you have the debt ceiling, you know, where they need to resolve this by, they have enough money, they're saying, until about the 5th of June. And so I have to see how that plays out. Just, I mean, there's no way in our right minds we would see the United States default on a debt. But that uncertainty has called, caused uncertainty in the markets. I know, you know, with, as far as dollar goes, I mean, that would, destroy the dollar uh, the dollar would get hit hard so again some uncertainty with the debt ceiling i've got some amazing shout outs to give on my trading group this person just came back i've had so many people coming back to the group coming back to the group this person started with eleven thousand. now he's at a hundred thousand dollars this person so close to seven figures a million dollars no need to work anymore he, he joined the group he quit working he's close to a million bucks this person he made same amount of money he would work Three months for since he joined the group he was so happy he couldn't even sleep this person made twenty thousand two hundred dollars since he joined the group we're lower on the prices rock bottom fees to join the group two hundred dollars off lowest price ever plus sixty percent off the go over to my website crypto rev.net join listen if you have any questions email me crypto Bitcoin Chris at gmail.com. Bottom line is you've got to be in the right coins. I'll make sure you're there. You've got to have some basic understanding of how the market works. And we've been killing these jam pick bangers. Now we got to talk about Mexi. So Mexi, they just extended the bonus round where you can get up to $9,100 in bonuses, free money based on your deposits and your trading. So Mexi has been a game changer for us because you're able to trade the market both ways. This is huge. Beijing has released a white paper for Web3 innovation and development. So again, they're promoting the development of Web3. The timing is interesting because you got Hong Kong saying in June, we're gonna come out and we're gonna open up retail trading for the larger cap cryptos. And so, will you see coins like NEO and Tron, 
TRX. Will you see these large cap Chinese coins, the Chinese narrative, bump in June? And will that create a huge buying opportunity? Obviously, if they're able to buy Bitcoin, they're jumping right into the market in China. That's potentially what's unfolding here. Now, Inkovas wins at Gemini in the United States based on and off ramp for a lot of people. They've got a lawsuit with Gemini Earn where they're paying out percentage, high percentages, right? They're getting sued by the SEC and they're asking for a dismissal. Gemini is saying that the loan agreements Genesis and their customers neither sold nor traded on secondary markets. They did not transfer the title to the assets. Therefore, they didn't qualify as securities. The money was just sitting there. Accordingly, there was no requirement that any party register it with the SEC. What we're seeing here in the United States is the SEC is constantly gunning for these crypto exchanges, which is problematic. I mean, let's face it, you've got Gemini, Coinbase, like they're getting fired at by the SEC. This is something that needs to be resolved. The United States needs to come out with blanket universal coverage that gives very good clarity how crypto assets are going to be regulated. There's so many, there's so much gray area here still. Like it's hard to think, man, mainstream adoption is going to take off when you've got giants like Coinbase getting a Wells notice, huge fine coming for Coinbase. Gemini in hot water with this SEC lawsuit. Are large corporations going to justify entering this space when you've got the SEC continually gunning for anybody that's involved in crypto trading in the United States, right? On a, on a business level. Until this is fixed, like it's dicey in crypto. If you guys like the content that I provide on a daily basis, be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, leave a comment in the comment box. Thanks so much. I'll see you guys tomorrow.